Hey, what's up, guys? Bud of course, 22 here, chilling with my my friend. What up, guys? Mad Dog for life, huh? We're doing, we're hitting you with a panel discussion here. I'm gonna give uh, Mad Dog or Marcus the first question. How do you get the MOAB? So, guys, there's been a little confusion with the MOAB. MOAB. Uh, it's called the mother, mother of all bombs, and what it does is that you get it using your aggressive or specialist uh, kill streak, and you can get in 25 kills or 24 with hardline. And what it does is that it kills, it activates after 10 seconds, and it kills the whole enemy team, and it uh, leaves like this hazy orange color, um, and then the enemy team is EMP'd for a full minute. Uh, now I got a question for Mike or Crypto Snipe. What do you think about the scoreboard during the game? How there's no capture, there's no dog tags? Uh, I was going to say that it really promotes uh, Lone Wolf gameplay. Remember Halo 3? Um, so yeah, basically like you, it just promotes you to play by yourself because it doesn't show you how the team's doing or like how you, how, yeah, how the individual player really is doing. They might go negative, but they might be like the top, top guy on the leaderboard because they capped six or seven flags. It gives you 150 points to fly. That's like three kills for every flight you capped. So I know a kid named Polly Inc., he, he goes negative every game in Kill Confirmed. Not every game, but he has sometimes he has good games, obviously. But he gets like 3,000 points a game because he's picking up like 15, 20, 20 dog tags a game. He's really putting the team on his back that way. That's why I respect him, and that's why I think they should show the, the dog tags and the, how many caps defense you get on the leaderboard like they did in Black Ops. They really need to change that. Now I have a general question. This will, me, me and Marcus will both answer this. What snipers are good? Hi, guys. Um, so if you guys remember in Modern Warfare 2 where like the intervention was probably like the most used sniper and then second set was the Barrett. Um, I want to, I feel like the, well the snipers that I personally think are the best are the AS-15 and the MSR. Uh, the MSR has more of a, the intervention feel like if you miss the, the AS, uh, no the um, L, what is it? All on A. Yeah, the, the, that one. That one. People are thinking that like that's dude. That's the new intervention when it's really not. Uh, the MSR is definitely that that intervention feel to it because it's more accurate and it actually even looks like the intervention. Um, and the AS AS15 has a uh, is is really good uh, if you just want to snipe and you want to use the Barrett or uh, yeah. All right, I think that the better snipers are like I have different ones than Marcus does. I think Bear 50 caliber is really good because I mean if you hit basically someone anywhere in the body, they're gonna die. And I also like the L11 8A because it's bolt action. You can get those cool kill feeds and stuff with it. And it just looks cool when you use it, and it's usually a one shot kill. Now, all right, I have another question. What do you guys think about the shotguns in general? All right, I'm gonna say that the shotguns they they basically suck. They I've used this past 12 before. I know Marcus has probably used this past 12, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I mean when you hit someone with this is just hip fire at point blank range. Sometimes they just don't die. However, I think the striker is really good because it's got a pretty big clip and it can fire those rounds pretty fast. And I think it's got pretty decent range to pick up those kills. What about you? Uh, about the shotguns, if you guys remember in Modern Warfare 2, you can get like the spaz grip super. Early. I think it's like after 75 kills or 15 or something. Uh, you can get the grip so early, and I like that what they did with this game, that they made shotguns primary, and that you have to play with it in order to get range and damage um, later in the game. And I, I really like that because you, not everyone can use a really strong shotgun very early in the game. Um, but yeah, you get. I've been using the spaz. Channel. It's, it's such a tedious process. It, you get so many hit markers with it. All right. This is just another general question I want to ask. Like. You guys can answer this in the comment section if you want, but how do you think you should play Domination? Um, domination, I would, to, in order to win, guarantee a win, Domination is one of those game times when it's, it's pretty much getting, it's, in my opinion, it's all about getting two flags and just spawn traffic. Yeah, I want to say something too, like when we play together, don't we like, we like try to keep two flags yeah. and like really try to call out? Yeah, 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 we do. And that's why like we picked up pretty decent win streaks. How many wins did we get? We, we had like 19, I think, or 18. Yeah, that's, I mean, for me, that's really good. I don't know about you guys, you guys, people who watch YouTube videos, they're usually pretty, we're pretty good at the game, so. Yeah. Um, next question. Uh, what are your favorite perks, Mike? Uh, my favorite perks definitely is if I'm using like a sniper rifle or if I'm using like a long range saw rifle like the Type 95 or M16. I want to use marksman because marksman, you're aiming on the sights and you can see like in this video in the beginning, I really couldn't see some of those guys. No, this is Mad Dog's clip right here, but yeah, I couldn't see the guys and I mean marksman really picked up the uh, 
picked up the face of the person's name above their head, and I really could kill him easily. What's your favorite perk, Marcus? Uh, my favorite perk is definitely Blast Shield Pro, because uh, it reminds me of Flat Jacket Pro, like in Black Ops. That was definitely my favorite perk in the game. Just because, like, you're... Uh, people are stuck, you know, if you're, especially in Domination, because if, if you're trying to cap B, uh, people are throwing frags at you. Put on Blast Shield Pro, or, or just, you know, Blast Shield, and then you'll be resistant to, you know, stun uh, and explosives. Um, and it's really good in that sense. Yeah, it sucks. You can't. You're so vulnerable. When, like you're getting caught with your pants down when you're throwing stuns and flashes. But if if you're playing domination, just uh, you know, pick up that blast shield and you'll be you'll be good. Captain Flex. All right. I want to ask. I just want to ask a question for just Marcus. Uh, what do you think about uh, Modern Warfare 3? Like the, when you press Y and check the friends list. Like when you're in the game. Why? What do you think about like why the game joining game because of that? Um, I think. I don't know, I don't have too much uh, tissue with that. I've never really tried to join anyone's game in progress. Uh, but my ears saying to me earlier how you didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't li I didn't like it because even if friends were offline, it would still give me the option to join their game. Remember, this is not the Xbox Live like menu thing when you press the middle button. This is just a regular Y when you're in like a lobby about to uh, start up a game. So even my friends that are online, I, I press to join game, it doesn't let me join. I think Infinity War really needs to change that with one of their hot fixes or whatever they're called that they, that they got from Black Ops. So we thought I thought that really needed to be changed. We're gonna hit you guys with one more question, then we're gonna wrap this video yeah, up. Yeah, I got one more question. Um, right now, just briefly, what's your what's your favorite weapon right now that you've been liking so far? Um, my favorite weapon is probably I uh, I don't know, like it's definitely probably the overpowered Type 95, only because you really can I think you really can rack up a lot of kills because it's way better than the M16. It can basically it's a one burst weapon. A three, what, uh, three shot, one burst weapon that really can kill, get killed in one burst. And Marcus, what's yours? Uh, real quick, mine's the Scar. If you see in this, my half of the gameplay. Well, actually, right now it's, it's the CM901. But the, I was using the Scar in the beginning just because it's uh, it has a very controllable recoil, and I, I really like that. All right, guys, video's coming to an end. Uh, this is for Mar Marcus is about to pick up the. Oh, I'm about to get that juggernaut. Hey. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, unfortunately, the video ends and he gets uh, Osprey but. We absolutely destroy this team, and yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Uh, one more thing is videos. I'm gonna try to come up with another video before the weekend ends, and then you know we got dual com Friday next Friday. Get ready to stay tuned in and keep. Don't worry, just keep freaking gaming. Hell yeah! See you guys.